when you spoke on your daddy in the book, man, it kind of stressed me out a little bit, Boosie, when you were talking to him and he was having his last, you know, breaths at the same time, man. Yeah. First of all, I didn't realize that he was about to pass. I just thought you was going to be able to go in there, you know, make amends and move forward. Right, right. What was it like when your father passed after all of that time? Uh, It was sad, bro. Yeah. It was sad because uh, my dad, the only one could discipline me. Mm. Now, my mama could teach me, but my mama never really whooped me. I, I don't even really... I never really got a whooping from my mother. Yeah, my mother was a school teacher, so every time I got in trouble, I had to read in the corner. Mm -hmm. I never got hit. My daddy beat my ass. You know, my, <laughs> I had a fear for my daddy. Yeah, my daddy didn't play, and um, when he died, bro, it, I was just rebellious. You know, I hurt that woman so much, like I, I was just rebellious, man, and uh, because I ain't had nobody to really, I didn't fear anybody. Yeah. You know, when I when I was under thirteen, things I wanted to do, I always thought about that. Yeah, yeah. My daddy is gonna bro. If I do this, you know, and I had even older niggas in the hood who were gonna tell my daddy. Yeah, yeah. If I got into all this stuff, so when daddy died, I was like a I was like a wild child. Being a wild child though, Boosie, did you think that that wild child was gonna grow up to be Boosie badass though and be leading the culture? Because I mean, coming up like that. Did you see that in your future? Or did you just say, I'm popping, whatever the hell happens, happens? I started seeing it uh, after my dad died. Mm. Uh, it's like I got better with music. Okay. I got better with music when my dad died. I always was like the best rap in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Like niggas couldn't out rap me in the project. But after that, after my dad died, more people in the hood encouraged me to rap. Mm. You know, they start yeah. building my head up like, exactly. this is nigga hard. You know, it start, niggas start coming over there rapping, you know, rapping. Yeah. They bringing their little nephews and and, and it, it, it just took off, bro. I, you know, I had a lot to say Yeah, that I couldn't say when my daddy was here. Facts. You know, I couldn't get on there and, you know, because my daddy wanted me to boss up and just be a boss. Yeah. He didn't want me to be no... You know, he say you gonna whatever you do, you gonna run because you a leader. That's right. I've been a leader since three, four years old. What a pack! I go. So my dad always told me that you you the one, you the leader. Mm -hmm. You ain't gotta be no gang. You gonna be a boss, whatever you touch. You know, but uh, I just I just swindled away when pops died. My God! Now you also talked about your first baby mama, Nita. Yeah. That relationship was strong as well in the book, man. Right. I mean, can you speak on that? And then also, I kind of wanted to ask you. What do you think would have happened if you would have stayed with Nita the whole time, all the way up until now? Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't. She broke the code. You know? uh, I loved yeah. her to death, you know, but she ended up breaking the code that I and I taught her to live by for yeah. all these years. Yeah, you know, and uh, still loved her to death. Still yeah. loved her to death, but you know that that brings a separation of trust, and you know. Uh, some people, you, some women you could trust in the sheets, but not with the police. Yeah. Mm. You know, um, some women won't fuck, a, not a soul, won't cheat on you or nothing. Yeah. When it comes to the police, they'll, they'll flip. So uh, that was my baby, man. You know, that, that was my baby. We got three children together. Yeah. She happily married right now. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, we, 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 still, we still got a connection as far as, you know, we not, I'm not, Intimate with none of my baby mamas. Yeah, you know that's how problems come about. I'm not yeah. intimate with none of my baby mamas, but uh, if she ever need me, I'm here for. Her. That's I right. Know, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Me and that girl been through. You know, man, we we been through a lot, so it don't matter. I'm I'm, I'm always be here for. Her. When y'all both got banged up, though, man, what was that like for you? having to look at her and pray to God that, you know, she stayed solid during that time and not knowing how it was, what the outcome was going to be? Uh, I didn't know because she, she never told me. Mm -hmm. I, I've had to find out from when my paperwork came, you know, mm -hmm. from, my, from my attorneys. And uh, it hurt me, bro, you know. Yeah. It hurt me, bro. Uh, but I'm a G, you know. I went in there and took the time, you know. I could have came home after my murder trial. Yeah. I took the time for my for Nita mm -hmm. so she could be free with my children, you know. 
Exactly. Even when my whole family said, fuck that, come home. I but I'm not sending no woman to jail who, you know, I may do all this shit exactly. and leave. What the fuck my children going to say when yeah. their mom ain't there? You know, so, uh, yeah, I, I went in there and, Yana, that's mine. You know, took a plea deal so she could, she could walk.